Welcome back 624. He's been terrifying moviegoers for more than 40 years. Michael Myers, the boogeyman that just won't die. The Halloween saga that has produced more than a half dozen sequels recently brought back Jamie Lee Curtis's original character, Laurie Strode, reviving a demonic battle that was in desperate need of a reboot. ABC's Rick Damagella looks at the cinematic history of Halloween. John Carpenter's Halloween arrived in theaters in 1978 and has continued to scare audiences through sequels, spin-offs, and reboots. Halloween was, you know, kind of a descendant of Psycho and Black Christmas, but Halloween became the standard. It became the movie that all other horror directors, horror writers aspired to do. There's a reason we're supposed to be afraid of this night. Universal Pictures revived the franchise in 2018 with a direct sequel to the 1978 film, ignoring the other movies released over the decades. It's an interesting thing, and I've, I've heard the term choose your own adventure, if you remember those books from when you were a kid, because if you want to see the Laurie Strode, Laurie Strode film, you can watch you know the first film and then go to 2018 and Halloween Kills. Uh, if you want to see Dan Daniel Harris and Jamie Lloyd and her story, you could watch four, four and five, and well, I mean, I guess you can watch six, but you're going to be sadly disappointed. Director David Gordon Green's Halloween Kills picks up moments after his 2018 film. I love Michael Myers, and I love the the mythology, the very scattered mythology in the series. I think David Gordon Green has elevated this series. We're caring about the characters again. They're not just the stereotypical teenager, the slut, the jock, the the whatever you have. These are these these feel like real people. Forty years ago, the boogeyman came for us. We are the survivors of Michael Myers. Watching with the lights on in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella.